Did you hear the change then? There's a moment where it sounds as if, almost as if it's one person playing, that something happens. Did you hear it? And I think that's a moment where you hear the, the move from a timeless music into a music where there is time and where the music's being composed in the moment, not just by one person, but in relationship by two people. And this is a little bit of theory. Um, my Flemish colleague, Jos de Bakker, and I have described this kind of music, or this moment, really, in the following way. It is not only the embodiment, but the sense of going on being in time, as this unfolds in time. When listening to music, we have available, available the possibility of experiencing ourselves as both familiar and changed. We lose a momentary sense of time, space, and personal identity, while also retaining an overall sense of being and feeling. When we connect with a process of receiving internally a music from outside ourselves, the past and the present sit together in relationship in and through time as the music moves along with its and our past, newly experienced in the present, in motion towards a future that is being experienced as it's shaped. So this is creative time I'm talking about, where repetition has a relation to the past. And this really brings us to what we already know about music. But it also places it in a new context, that of our fundamental sense of who we are as we move from moment to moment in our lives with all the richness and variety of experience this brings. It is this sense of ourselves in time that makes it possible to move towards a healing process where the past can be acknowledged, mourned, and let go in order for new experiences to develop and for life to move on. And as Brown said, we could say that today is the future's gift to the past, offering, one might say, the present moment as an opportunity to rework that past, perhaps also an opening for reparation and new beginnings. And I think this is what trauma can leave us without, and it's what music can give us back in those kinds of ways. Have I got time to play one more short example? Right, this is Alfred Brendel playing. And it's a slow movement from the Emperor Piano Concerto. It's a very well known piece. But I want you to listen to the first piano entry. I think Alfred Brendel does this thing with time. <laughs> when he plays this, because it is actually impossible to tell where the phrase is going to end as he's playing it. Thank you. I think John has something to say now. <laughs> <laughs> 